guys, so I have decided to do a DIY for you guys. This is kind of just a revamp. Um, I'm sorry if you get a visual of my face or hair actually um, because my hair is not done. It's just like whatever. But I decided today, since the past couple of days, I've been cleaning my room and I came across this and I really like it, but like it doesn't go with my room anymore. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can change this. So I kind of wanted to bring you guys along with me and even if you guys don't have the same artwork. I believe this artwork came from Target, but um, you can get a shadow box by stencils and kind of paint on whatever you want, and that would be really awesome too. This one is just already done for me, but if you want that, do that, and then do this next step to, step if you want to, or you don't have to whatsoever. Um, but I think a shadow box would be really, really cool, and if I like this, I would probably do more for other parts of the house. Um, but this is just what I have for right now, and this one's going to go in my room, or in my and Zach's room. So anyways, I've already started because I actually started filming this video, and then I forgot something, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to. And my camera was dying, so I was like, I'm just going to, um, you know restart this over. Anyways, I need to tell you guys what you need. So you're either going to need a shadow box or something you want to change that's kind of like a shadow box but there's a background in it that you maybe want to change or something or want to add. Um, and what's cool is you could add like, I don't know, just 3D things in here even or just kind of do a whole scrapbook page behind here which would be really cool for a gift or something. Um, so you've got lots of endless options. You're going to need a heavy duty stapler. One uh, you know, very heavy duty, like you have to put all your weight on heavy duty. Um, you can buy this at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. Um, a pair of scissors possibly. A, what are you? See, this is a screwdriver, but it's the flat screwdriver. I just use this to help lift up the back, which I'll show you in a second. And then the flower screwdriver is what I always call it. Um, if you guys can see, it's the one with like the... I don't know. Is this the Phillips or something? I don't know. <laughs> I feel so dumb, but I really just don't know what these are called. And I just have that. And then these are wire cutters, but I'm actually using them as pliers right now because I don't know where my pliers are. So I just use those, which I probably won't need because I already did it. You might need some craft um, spray adhesive or your any kind of glue you like, maybe E6000 or something like that. Um, but I'm going to use this one. It's a strong, heavy-duty uh, glue I like to use. And then depending on the size of your shadow box, you're going to need a shadow box. Depending on the size of that, you're going to need um, some 12 by 12 paper is what the size I'm using today. It's a little bit smaller than that, um, but it is 12 inches wide, but it's not 12 inches long, I don't think. I don't know, though. But these are just the styles that I've chosen because I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. So all three of these go with the room. I'm just not sure which one I want to use yet. So I will see once I get there. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And I use the flat um, screwdriver to help pry up the back because I just like couldn't get a hold of these little um, whatever these are called staples um, and so it just ended up ripping a hole through the back of this which is fine because I'm going to staple in new areas anyway um, so yes I guess one of the staples did come out properly but you know now you're going to take the little flower screwdriver is what I'm calling it here girls and we're going to go ahead and unscrew the wall mount part remember it's lefty loosey righty tighty for anybody that needs to like remind themselves, which is me often when doing projects, because I'll just like sit there for a while and be like, why isn't this working? So you're just gonna take your wall mount off that way. Um, well, that's how this backing has to come off. If yours doesn't have to come off that way, then you're good to go. I'm probably gonna end up putting command strips on the back of this anyway to hang it, because we're renting. But I'm just going to go ahead and take that off of there because it's unnecessary. And since I already took this and went around the whole thing, I think I need to go around the top. All I did was just kind of pry it and it just came off. So this is what you need to keep. You actually need to keep this backing for your shadow box or for if you have the same box as me. Or however, you're going to need to keep this so you can spray on the picture or paper you want to use. 
So this one is just a heart with words on it that just didn't work for our room anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and set this to the side. This is really pretty too, just by itself if you just want to hang this, which I'm kind of thinking about doing. The back looks really crazy though, so if you did want to do that, I was going, I would probably paint this black, the back black. Um, but I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to see if I can get up any of these little staples here, because they're not really necessary for me. If not, I guess I'll just have to stick around, but I'm hoping I can get a hold of them. I'm not very strong. I don't think I can get a hold of these, you guys. They're like in this wood like crazy. Okay. So if you can get those out, get them out, but if not, like it's not going to be a big deal, just watch. So I'm going to end up moving this guy out of the way for a second, and I'm going to, no I'm not, I'm going to actually get this paper out and see what I like behind the paper, behind the picture, what paper to use, and what way to put it in here. So there is this design. Um... I've got this design in here, which I don't like as much, or I've got this one, which I think I like the first one, or this gold one. This is the hard part. What do you do? Like, I think this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. It's a clean line, I guess. Let me just, I really need to just visualize this in my room somewhere. I like the gold. That was easy. After deliberating. Okay, so now you're going to take your backing. And all you need it to do is just line up with the original backing. Pretty simple. So you might need to cut it or you may not. Honestly, it's not going to show. If you put it all the way around, because you're going to have a border and stuff. Um, I'm going to line it up to the very edge of mine, and, because I don't want to make this complicated for anybody, for myself, for you guys, so, just line it up with a corner, and I'm only going to need to trim off just the tiniest bit, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my spray adhesive on here, I'm actually, oh gosh, this is like, kind of glued or shot or something. I'm going to kind of tilt it up because when the spray adhesive goes everywhere, it's just insane. So it will stick to everything. But I don't want it to get on my artwork. It's to the left. So I'm just going to spray a nice layer over this. Try not to get it on your hands because you're going to regret it. But if you got it there, oh snap. Man, I can smell that. It's just like... I'm going to take my clean hand over here and even a towel to just make sure there's no air, bu air bubbles or anything. We don't want to lay this on any glue, so I'm going to make sure wherever I lay this, there's no glue. I need to put this here because there's glue here. Okay. So for this, I'm just going to end up taking and cutting the edges here. So let me just show you guys. I'm going to end up taking these edges and just cutting right along the side of the black piece. We don't need that. If you wanted to, you could cut this beforehand, but I think it's just easier to do it this way. If you do end up getting glue on your hands, make sure that your fingers are staying as close to the edge as possible because that's where the uh, edge of the picture is going to. Oh. The 
edge of the picture is kind of covered. I'm going to flip it back over. Just make sure it looks okay. Alright, and then all I'm going to do is just take this and line it up to the back. You can hot glue this on if you want it, if you don't have one of those, but it's not going to stay as long. And just line it up to the back. And before you staple it together, look at it to make sure it looks good to you. And I think it looks great, so I'm going to flip it over and get to stapling. So you already know where you have staples. So I'm going to have to stand up for this. So you already know where you have staples, so don't staple in that area. also optional. I kind of saw how it didn't go all the way in. So I'm going to take a hammer to some of them just to make sure, but be careful because this is glass. Jeez. I kind of forgot what I was doing for a second. And just give it a light tap so it just becomes a little more flush. It's not like falling off or like being pushed off the wall because of your staples. And that is your finished project, you guys. It's just super simple and easy. You're already done. If you um, need to attach this back on your wall mount, just go ahead and do that now. Just go ahead and put it over the holes it was just in and then put the holes back in and drill it back in. But like I said, since we're renting, I'm going to just do command strips. And I think that will be easier. Um, so that is the finished project, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It's my first DIY for you guys. So let me know how you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.